Hi guys, it's Shauna. I just wanted to do this quick video for you. I just wrapped up a group call and on the group call I was invited to share my top five favorite things to keep your vibration nice and high. And these are tools and techniques that I've used over the years and I've taught them over the years. And I really believe that this is, this is a time right now with the coronavirus. Uh, this is a time right now where we really need to stay focused on the bigger picture and really harness that energy so that we can stay in, stay in a state where we're able to see possibilities. We are able to feel calm and not get swept away by everything else that's happening right now. And this is by no means a way of um, minimizing what's happening in the world right now. There was, um, I don't know if I have it here. There was a, a quote, uh, a post I saw yesterday shared by one of my beloved teachers. And it was something along the lines of, um, don't mistake my humor for a lack of seriousness or concern. Um, and that laughter... Um, through hard times um, has helped me to cope throughout my life. Something along those lines, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Um, but I find that to be so true. I will, ask, uh, I will actually ask the universe to bring me things to laugh about so that I am laughing so hard I'm crying. <laughs> there may be a snort involved. But I really, really play with those energies to try to keep things light. I mean, there are so many ridiculous memes going around right now, which are so fantastic. And it's lightening up a little bit of the energy for everyone. We are all um, in our homes. We are all isolated. And your thoughts can take one of two directions. Your thoughts can be empowering, um, looking for possibilities, choosing to see joy and possibilities, thinking of all those bear hugs you're going to give everybody when this is over, thinking of all the beautiful, all the beautiful things that I think many of us have maybe taken for granted, you know, like getting our nails done. Angela, I miss you. Getting our hair done. <laughs> Stephanie, I miss you. <laughs> you know, it really... And again, I'm not making light of the seriousness of, of what we have going on right now. This is a pandemic. But I'm, from my own perspective, really realizing what, what, is, 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 what is bringing me joy, what brought me joy before this happened that I'm not able to access right now. One of them for me is the gym. Like I've... I've become a gym rat. I train at two different places. I, I do kickboxing at one and I'm at a traditional gym and not being able to go to either one. Oh, that took me a couple of days. That took me a couple of days and I'm very grateful that I have an elliptical, that I have equipment at home. Uh, my gym, they've got online classes. I can go for a walk. So, you know, the first couple of days of, of the isolation really gave me an opportunity to look at um, you know, different ways that, that I could um, accept what was happening and find different ways to make the most of it, really is what it comes down to. So one of the top things is movement. Anytime we move our body, we're moving stagnant energy, we're moving those emotions, and that will raise your vibration so that you feel a little bit more clear a little bit more focused. So again, is that going for a walk? Is it doing yoga? Is it playing with your kids in the backyard? You know, what does that look like? You know, it was funny, there was a post yesterday on Facebook and it talked about, um, you know, nine months from now, there'll be all these babies born. <laughs> so whatever your movement looks like, movement keeps that energy, gives your mind a chance to just ah, decompress, right? Mindset. If we're focusing on uh, you know, the anxiety, if that starts to come into play, that's actually focusing on something that hasn't happened yet, may or may not happen. And that is going to keep your vibration, your energy lower, because we, um, we need to really harness our mind and our emotions. And again, I know what's going on in the world. I give myself a 10 minute window every day, I go on and I check the numbers. 
I'm checking what's new, what's what's happening. I'm sending love to, you know, everyone who's been impacted by this. And I'm, you know, sending calming, nurturing energy around the world. You know, so yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely aware of what's happening. I'm also aware of what I'm choosing to create every day that this is keeping me in my home. Thankfully, I have Zoom, so I'm able to continue to assist and help clients and reach out to family and friends, and I'm, I'm very thankful for that aspect. So our mindset, what are we focusing on? Whatever we focus on is going to grow. So if we're focusing on fear, we're just going to keep attracting that. It's just going to pre keep perpetuating in our world. Scent is something else that absolutely shifts my reality. I have my little um, diffuser guy running, and my favorite right now is um, by Sage. And I apologize, we probably can't get out to Sage to gobble these up. Um, but something like stress release is my favorite. As soon as I start to feel anxious, I just start to, ooh, okay, I need to shift something. So I start emitting this throughout the whole house and it calms everybody down. It's absolutely fantastic. And something else that I've recently discovered, music is a way that I keep my vibration high. And that could change <laughs> depending on the moment of the day. It could be Post Malone, or it could be Bach, or it could be anything in between. It just depends on, on what my mood is. Um, it's called uh, Sibelius. Sibelius. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, his swan music. It's classical music, but it is lighter. It is sublime. It is... Um, the, only, the best word I can use to describe it is it's celestial. It is so beautiful and so amazing. Oh my gosh, it's it's so beautiful. Um, I work with uh, the angelic realms, and when I'm specifically when I'm I'm doing any clearing work, I hear this music, and I'm always searching for that music here in this reality. And this is the closest, one of the closest. The other one is um, pentatonics, their um, Alleluia song. Oh, it just instantly raises my vibration. Um, the Moses Code. The Moses Code, listening to that, playing in the background, that will raise your vibration. Um, laughter. Laughter is, again, one of my favorite ways to keep my vibration high. I always joke and say that it's uh, it's the jovial uh, Nufi energy that I have <laughs> from my dad's side of the family that keeps me happy and light. Um, you know, it's it's funny. You know, somebody said the other day, they said, you're, you're, always, you're always so positive and happy. You must, uh, um, you know, you must have uh, cannabis you must uh, be drinking. I don't. I actually, I may have a sip of red wine every now and again, and I don't. I don't smoke or do anything. It's. It's just. I. I find different ways to keep my vibration high, and to keep me um, engaged with my spirit. When we keep our vibration nice and high, our spirit, that true authentic self, can come in and and connect with us and start to co-create with us and start pulling in those universal energies. And when I'm talking about universal energies, think of the Matrix, think of Doctor Strange, the movie Doctor Strange. These energies are all around us and within us and all around us, just waiting for us to invite them in to play with us. And so um, I thank you for stepping into this arena with me. Just by stepping into this energy with me, I invite you to just take a nice deep cleansing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And just release anything that is not yours. Thoughts, feelings, emotions, energies, worries, anxiety, fear, anything that isn't yours, I invite you to just release it and just let it go. And start to come back to your center and really just start to be with you, with your energy. And enjoying your space that you're in, enjoying what can you find that you can be grateful for? Because gratitude will bring more things into our world for us to appreciate and love. Stay healthy. I send you mountains of love. Stay safe, stay healthy. And if you have any comments, I'd love to hear. If you are looking for extra resources, please reach out. And, uh, and know that we'll, we'll get through this. That we're all in this together and that we will get through it. Mountains of love. Bye for now.